Ollie, can you get me a pint? <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks to everyone for coming down. We really appreciate the opportunity to have such an attentive audience. Um, this is my first poem. It's called The Hill. The Hill. And the grass scratched my feet as I strode to the circle where the tabloids lay burned and the stubs of last night sat buried in the charcoal debris. I drew on the stick of death, death stick as good as dead, Lou sang the thought, sat buried in my synaptic debris. Now the last rays of glory and sense beat down on me as I rush and run and trip and fall and wait for the black unfathomable to descend. Uh, this one's called uh, Hailing Island During Heat Wave. If you've been to Hailing Island tonight, I recognise some of the sentiments. Uh, this was in the first, uh, first, second Guild pamphlet, which are kind of on that table at the back, so do take one on your way out. To be born again, immersed in icy fingering of polymerised sea sludge, sensational. I drag my tumour behind me, riveted and punctured, embracing suddenly the stony rubbish beneath. It flows limply on the surface as my ego dives ever deeper, searching for the scalpel. Death, one forgets, is a direct result of the less attempts to undermine the vital Christian institution of marriage. That time when we talked about time and its ceaseless lapping on our frail shores, I had to go outside and breathe deeply. Come in! The silicon screeched, the effervescent glow, my fan-assisted fetus maker. We saw you. It continued the persistence of pornographic pop-ups. Hunched grotesquely with a pair of your mother's knickers in the alley next to Safeways, sobbing into your cravat, gnarly mug turned towards the wall of the impasse. Oh, phantasmagorical eruption of guilt-tinged euphoria. Class was established with the invention of the video game, an army's worth of armchair infantry, varicose and slovenly, jabbed with the insulin pen by a caring mother in between courses of the 15th annual gala dinner for the wounded in Afghanistan. We stood, my dad and I, in shallow pools, poised in meditative mutual silence, coral tearing our skin from its pretense of masculinity, leaving barstools for sands, seascapes and sand dunes, our only tools, the lurid blue eyes that scanned the immense and delicate purple phosphorescence which flowered in the mossy gleaming pools. It was then I finally broke through a fairy pustule lying sodding, clotting the clarity of the rock pool, murky orange skin, fetid and trench-like, reeking and pulsating, drawing in the blackness of the sand beneath it, dense, dense, sinking through the gristle of my ribcage, until it reached the root, the forbidden fruit, which poisoned my paradise, the exotic floral menagerie which encased it, slowly metabolised into oxidising molecules. If only I had blueberries, or was it dark chocolate and chilli, or mixed with the blood of poor children, find me the antioxidant to present my cancer. <laughs> this next is called Facebook Collage. My computer is fat and ugly, kettle boiling, and of course he loved me being earnest, but then I'd only just got my trousers off. For the moments when I could be watching Glee, I'm watching porn. So many people I might like, but then he's a father so soon, shyness can have no part in my reproduction of the signs. I must pass under the golden arches and just do it. Forget the 18th birthday party, drunkly crying into a tattered photograph of Teddy Sheringham's face. If that is officially a profound thing to dubstep, it is so to us all. Trapping us in the gas chamber, bopping mechanically. Look, like I just found Pete Doherty and Gary Lineker fucking or something revolutionary like that. What a stitch to literature. Enough, you just can't decide on a geezer for tonight. The worst thing is I just can't believe I'm coming on to a bloke. Meat is murder, they say, so why is he eating something bigger than the many surprises that await him now? Which cunt stole my meaning. Not that it's aimed at anyone. I just want to buy his one-way ticket for Waterstones having grossly misjudged the reading list. A dirty French novel combining the absurd with the half-eight start, so it's not like we live in the gentleman area. I make a pointless errand in the sun, cerebral ruins of a castle built on neurons, since the three strangers in the bed may be mortally wound myself. The man up equals a decent Sunday. The bailiffs are playing jazz to punks. I hope Dee likes my flip-flops and crippled with adoration for him. I was going to snow them in under my essay provisionally, but now it's a technical report as the site won't work. Back to the doll for you, they said. First edition, songs for nobody, all begging in a lap. Record, got a winged horse. I nearly ruined my Germanic complexion. If you really are struggling to break the endless cycle of poverty, then buy good comments here. Buy a good week. We live the lives of literary terms. 
Do not, in the stages of orgasmic reverie, reverse into arbitrary punctuation removal. Every day is sweet nothings, because in Libya they aren't finished yet, but the paper ran out of signs for them. Neither cool documentary to solve things. Come home, mum's dead, dad, and thus I left Facebook to Franz Kafka, since Apple's assertion that I really enjoy being caught in the suicide net of the factory left me with kernel data error. They, ca they can't say no to the streets of us. Eclectic, once we signify our worth by semi-generators. No scrubs, please. I received an academic diary today, so I have the Scarlet Letter for sale. Everyone, please stop fighting my privates. So now, very well, push hard enough to tweet back to my leftist reputation. HTTP dot slash slash illusion continuums hegemony.co.uk Uncanny resemblance. <laughs> it's going in anyway. Bourbon crumbs and paperwork deactivated us all. One in 2000, born in Libya, and I'm still unpaid for the article I wrote about it. <laughs>